1 John 3. See what an incredible quality of love the Father has shown to us that we would be permitted to be named and called and counted the children of God. And so we are. For this reason, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Beloved, we are even here and now children of God. And it is not yet made clear what we will be after his coming. We know that when he comes and is revealed, we will be we will as his children be like him because we will see him just as he is in all his glory and everyone who has this hope confidently placed in him purifies himself just as he is pure holy undefiled guiltless everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness and sin is lawlessness ignoring god's law by action or neglect or by tolerating wrongdoing being unrestrained by his commands and his will you know that he appeared in visible form as a man in order to take away sins and in him there is absolutely no sin for he has neither the sin nature nor has he committed sin or acts worthy of blame no one who abides in him who remains united in fellowship with him deliberately knowingly and habitually practices sin no one who habitually sins has seen him or known him. Little children, believers, dear ones, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who practices righteousness, the one who strives to live a consistently honorable life in private as well as in public and to conform to God's precepts is righteous and just as he is righteous. The one who practices sin separating himself from God and offending him by acts of disobedience, indifferences or rebellion is of the devil and takes his inner character and moral values from him, not God. For the devil has sinned and violated God's law from the beginning. The son of God appeared for this purpose to destroy the works of the devil.